Hello everyone, you are watching Average Joe Video. I'm Joe, and this evening I wanted to let everybody know that Honda has officially announced the recall notice for both the HRN 216 and HRX 217 models. You may recall that I made a video back in the end of June regarding the issue with my Honda lawnmower, and then I did another update video shortly thereafter. So be sure to check those out. I will leave a link to those in the video that you're watching now. But to talk a little further about this recall, it's going to be affecting the GCV 170 as well as the GCV 200 general purpose engines. Now from what I read, this is also, these engines are also found on pressure washers as well. I've obviously been focusing on the lawnmower side of it because that's what my interest is and that's what problem I experienced. I also want to point out that just because you have one of these models does not automatically mean you are affected by the recall. Honda will send out information assuming that your unit has been registered, but more importantly, I'm going to leave a link in the description of the video where you can click and go to Honda's website and verify based on the serial number of your unit whether or not you are impacted. The other thing I want to mention is, is that units that have been repaired are not affected by the recall. And there's two different ways in which you can determine that. So if you take a look at the original carton, if you still have that, perhaps you just bought a brand new one and you're wondering, I mean, you may have it there. I've still heard stories of people buying them even though there was a stop sale notice. But if it's been repaired, then that would make sense that you'd be able to purchase it. Um, if you look on the carton, there is a colored round dot on the information tag. Uh, otherwise, if you don't have the original carton, you can actually look on the engine number serial, the, excuse me, you can look on the engine serial number plate, and to the left of the G, there will be a punch mark. So that's how you can tell if your unit has already been repaired for this issue from the factory. So I'm going to leave that information for you once again in the description so you can do that research for yourself. I wanted to get this information out as quickly as possible because if you do have one of these units, you should stop using it immediately so that you don't uh, incur any injuries. Uh, and once again, thank you for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please consider subscribing to the channel for more content like this. Thank you.